All right, guys. Getting ready to uh, drop the motor back in there. I'm just going to throw the heads on when it's back in the car. Got Bear back up today. So, see how far we get with this. All right, guys. So, uh, definitely got a lot done between the last video and now. So, got the engine in. Got the trans back on there. Kind of had an issue getting the trans on, but uh, this crank came out of that Explorer block, so I had to put a pilot bearing in there. And I think when we first put it in, it didn't get like completely seated. And I'm, man, it looked like it was in there okay. There was just, it was just a little bit off. So I had to pound that thing in a little more, and then we got the trans just went right in there. So that was a struggle, but we got that done. And uh, got the heads on. Kind of used some, kind of made some studs. I just bought some bolts and chopped the heads off. That worked out really good, lining up the heads with the gasket. And uh, had to lift the engine back up, so it's a good thing. Kind of left the trans loose on the cross member so it could get the engine up. So that worked out good. You know, just jacked up the engine by the uh, harmonic balancer to uh, snake those headers in there. Uh, starters back on. And basically now I'm down to uh, putting the push rods in there. Got to go through that stuff. I got the uh, shim kit, so just got to make sure that the rockers are set up right. They seem like they're pretty close because I, I put one of the heads on when, engine was, when the engine was still out of the car. Checking the piston, the valve clearance, and all that BS. So, uh, one of the rockers seemed like it was a little off, so I'll probably have to shim some of them. So, yeah, all lifters are in there. I had those things soaking in a... Just had a painter's cup filled up with oil. Had those soaking for a couple weeks, so... They're definitely pumped up. So, yeah, just kind of down to, uh... You know, doing the push rods and getting the rockers shimmed up, and should be ready to throw the intake on and... Get the accessories bolted on the front here. Definitely, uh, man, my buddy Bear, like, he kicked some ass, man. Came over, helped me get the motor in, and then we were brawling with that tranny. Finally got that straightened out. My buddy Aaron stopped by. <laughs> Had a big problem finding a, one of these stupid clutch alignment tools. I don't know where it's at. I'm sure you know, like, actually, I put a clutch in my white car, and the clutch kit came with one, and I just threw it away, not thinking. It's like, should have just kept that thing. But anyways, we called around and finally found a parts store that had one. It was only like six bucks. And I remember last time I did this car, I actually uh, rented like a clutch install tool. But for some reason, nobody's renting them anymore. So that was fun. But anyways, got that all tidied up. So, you know, I'm lucky. I mean, my dad, my brother, my buddy Bear, my buddy Aaron, been helping out. And uh, man, my brother really kicked some ass like tearing this car down. I don't know what happened. He just kind of out of nowhere turned into a super wrench banger. So that's definitely badass. So I'm pretty excited. We're getting there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully she's going to start up and, and maintain oil pressure. So we shall see. We've got pressure. Is it dripping? Mm hmm. Great. Nice. All right. Got the, uh, the headers around there. The whole exhaust is on. Got the H pipe back up there. Um, getting ready to do the intake right now. Just got done cleaning it up. Got to do my final wipe and set the gaskets on there and slap this puppy on. All right, got the uh, the lower intake on there, all the accessories. Got all the wiring back on there. Let me 
temperature gauge, oil pressure, intake ready to go on there.